okay let me explain to you uh, so like we have to create a custom visual force page first of all visual force page is always always custom so i have to create a visual force page and with that visual force page i cannot use any standard controller and the reason i i cannot use any standard controller is uh, because like yeah i mean uh, if like i cannot use a standard controller because uh, a standard controller only provides uh, the functionality to create a record for a single object that is either for account or for contact or for opportunity uh, it cannot be uh, like um, we cannot use a standard controller to create all of all the three of them so in this case instead of using the standard controller what do i need to do i need to create a custom controller that's what i need to do so write down what exactly a custom controller is a custom controller is an apex class a custom controller is an apex class that implements all of the logic that implements all of the logic for a page that implements all of the logic for the page for a page without leveraging without leveraging a standard controller without leveraging a standard controller also also okay so custom controller is nothing but an apex class it's basically an apex class that you can attach with a visual force page and whenever you will perform any action in that visual force page it will execute the methods inside that particular apex class so that's exactly what happens and this apex class will be called as a custom controller so that's what it is so my job is to basically create a page uh, uh, like which should in which in which there should be five to six fields and uh, uh when i hit save button over there on that particular page uh, a record of account should get created and a, a record of contact should get created and a, a record of opportunity should also get created so that's exactly what my job is so first let's go to the developer console and let's create write the code for this visual force page and then we're going to have a look at uh, the custom controller or we can do uh, the, like the other way around as well give me a second i need to check which or it is it's another org i need to log in into some other org give me a moment first we'll control the stand, uh, custom controller and then we'll create the visual force page so that it gets done one is again faster So let's go to the to the developer console and let's create a class. So all what I need to do to create a custom controller is to create an Apex class, and uh, I'm going to give it a name of uh, first controller. Let's say first controller is the name that I'm providing it. And inside this first controller class, oh, so I'll just declare a constructor. i'll do nothing in this uh, controller now what i'll do is i'll create a method public void save and let's say i'll make it as save the record and inside it what i'm going to do is i'm going to first let's do it this way public so i need the name so i pass string account name public string uh, account number of employees or let's account employees then what do i need to do integer 
make sure to uh, i mean do not write it down right now because there are there there can be any changes that i can do later on contact me string i'm going to explain you why i'm keeping this as public and everything just wait for the hi uh call name that's the opportunity amount and let's write down the code inside it so uh, in my visual force page what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide uh, i'm going to have some text fields and uh, the values from the, those text fields is going to come from are going to come into these uh, variables account name account employees con name con email and everything rest so in inside it uh, inside the save the record method what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an s object for account account is equals to account the name equals to acc name comma number of employees equals to is employees that's what i'm going to do Insert a. Then I'm going to create a contact record. X is equals to new contact. And inside it, what I'm going to do is last name is equals to con name. And uh, what's this? Email. Email is equals to con email. That's how to go. Similarly, I'll create an opportunity. Opportunity is new opportunity. Uh, Name is equals to I'll give you name and amount is equals to I'll give you amount. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna insert C as well as insert. Oh, by the way, uh, account ID is equals to a dot ID. Copy. That's the reason I inserted it earlier before contacting the option. Now they'll be associated with this. Unexpected token. What's the problem? Yeah, so that's what that's what I've written down. Um, like here are some variables, and here is a method that I want to execute whenever uh, the save whenever we hit the save button. That's what I want to do. So yeah, that's that's how you need to write down a controller now, uh, or uh, basically a custom controller. Now I'm going to go and create a Visual Force page. So let's create a Visual Force page. So it is like account contact. Opportunity create page, right? Okay. So the first thing that I need to do over here is I need to add the controller, right? 
and the controller's name is first controller. That's what the name of the controller is. So I need to make sure that I add the first controller over here. And oh yeah, that's what it is. So Apex controller, first controller, and then uh, what do I need to do? I need to create an Apex form. Then Apex page block. Then Apex page block method, page block section, let's say. Inside the Apex page block section, I need to write down Apex input, not the field, but input text. Right, and the value should be right. So, uh, um, account name, right. Where's the problem we have? In this class, let me see this one first. I don't know what the problem is. I'll have a look. Let me see. So yeah, I've saved the first controller and then it's about the Visual Force page. So I'm saving it as well. Let me have a look at what the problem is. Okay, so have a look over there, guys. Unknown property first controller.acc name. So listen to me very carefully. Currently, uh, what I've done is I've used this formula expression. We call it as formula expression. And inside it, we write down the variable's name that you want to use over here. And this variable is declared as public over here, uh, acc name. And we are trying to use it over here. Can anyone tell me why we cannot you why we are not able to use it? It is saying unknown property, unknown property, even if it is public. Anyone in the chat? Why it is saying unknown property first controller dot acc name? Because for even if uh, in first controller we have got acc name. No one? Okay. Let me tell you. So what, what do we need to do is we need to create uh, I think there's something on the chart. Let me have a look. We have to make it static. No, we do not have to make it static. Let's make it static and then let's have a look. So I made it static and then I felt then also if I, uh, I'm going to try to uh, save it, it's going to say the same error. I'll show the same error. See, the same error. So that's what it is. 